super happy, sunny day, beautiful weather, and we are at it's the escape game in Orlando. And there's plenty of parking right outside. Finally made it, I'm so excited, let's go in. What's poppin' and unlockin' everybody? It is Brandon from Escape the Rumors. We are at the Escape Game in Orlando and we just played Mission Mars. Great game. And uh, before, bes well, before we get into all that, I gotta talk with this gentleman here. Isaac, how you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm great. Good Excuse me, I'm having an interview here. <laughs> Isaac, is the you're the general manager here yes, at this sir. location, right? That's right. Okay, so we have a couple questions. We want to get to know you a little bit better and sure. also uh, more about the escape game. Yeah. We love the escape game. We've been to so many locations, but never Orlando. Okay. So the first thing we want to know is how many games do you have available to the public right now? That's a great question. We have uh, we have six games available, uh, and we have nine rooms. And we'll be we're expanding right now. We're putting in another uh, two games, so we'll have eight games with twelve rooms. What are the two games that are coming? Are so you... we've got a depths game, which is a submarine game. Uh, we currently have that in a couple of our locations around the country, and then we have another game called Ruins, which is only right now in our Nashville location. Right. We played Ruins remotely, and even remotely, it was amazing. Yes, so, really. yeah, I'm really glad you guys are getting those two games. Yeah. Um, which is the one, which which are the ones, because I'm pretty sure you have six of them, which are the ones that are the most popular, that are getting booked the most by the customers? Yeah, that's a good question. So, it's a challenging question to answer just because um, we have multiple of uh, certain games. So, we have right. two Heist, two Gold Rush, and two Prison Break. And then we have Mission Mars, we only have one. Right. We have Playground, we only have one. And then Special Ops, we only have one of them. And so uh, the games that we have that book more, we right. have two of. And oh, so the right. games that we have only a singular one of, they may book faster right. because we only have one of them. Wow. But we book more of the other games because we have two of them. This so, place is massive. Like. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a hard question, but yeah. as far as, um, be, because the thing is they, they, they appeal to such a broad range of guests, guests yeah. that have never played an escape room before at all, and then guests that have played, like you all, I'm, I'm imagining hundreds and hundreds of games. Uh, there's a lot for, you know, all, all types of yeah. games to come play, so. And your themes are always so uh, entertaining and enjoyable. Um, so we want to ask you, I, I've never asked this question actually to, to the other owners because you have so many games here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played any of the escape game games? Like the, the games that you have? Like the, oh yeah, so before, before we began, when I started with the company seven and a half years ago, mm -hmm. uh, in our original location, this is the second of the 22 locations that we have, um, but when I started, we had, uh, as a company, three games. We mm -hmm. had a game called uh, Nashville, which we still have in our Nashville. It's the original game. We had The Heist, and then we had Playground, which in Nashville was called Underground Playground. So it was actually oh. downstairs, and that's why they called it Underground Playground. So those were the games that I played, the very first games that the wow. company had. So, Which uh, is yeah. your favorite escape game game? That, yeah, that's <laughs> a great question. I really do love the original um, Nashville escape game. Now it's, right. it's kind of evolved as, as the company has just, there's you know Gen 1 games and then mm -hmm. Gen 2 as, as they progress in the technology and stuff. But there's something really, really special. There's a lot of magic and, yeah. and you know, and, and some other things that go into just being a part of something that was so, um, so new, right. you know, especially to the to the U.S. market. Um, so I love the Nashville game. There's another game that we um, we actually took out to add our special ops uh, game. Uh, it was kind of special ops 1.0. It was called Classified, oh, and we've got Classified. Okay. We still have that game in some of our other locations. 
but I really, really loved uh, that game as well. Okay. Um, so there's just a couple of stores that have it um, still, but uh, the very original Nashville game is near and dear. I really, really love that game. First game I ever played, first escape game I ever played. Ever, oh, ever, wow. ever okay. anywhere. And it was with this company, it was just, Fantastic. Um, you never forget your first. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It, it was really wonderful. So so in terms of like uh, like the build, mm -hmm. like when you're creating games or you're like bringing them into your location, mm -hmm. like was there any obstacles that you had to face while doing so, whether it's like, you know, tech or, you know, the prop set design, anything? Yeah. So one of the uh, interesting things about because this was the second of the, of the company's locations, um, Oh, we, the second one. This of the is the game? second location of our whole company. So we wow. have the original Nashville location in yeah. Berry Hill, and then Orlando opened. So uh, when we opened, for in, for example, Prison Break, the yeah. original Prison Break for the whole company is our Prison Break. It's the first one we ever had, um, because originally we didn't have um, a warehouse and all these extra spaces to like demo and te all this stuff. So they were just built at a store, and then kind of just how do they do there. Yeah. You know? But as the company's grown, they they have an entire warehouse where they build, design, and then beta test the games in Nashville at our headquarters yeah. right. and then export them. Wow. So it's a different process now than it was uh, you know six, Back seven then, years ago. Yeah. yeah. And so I think the challenge then was um, space spaces are different. Mm -hmm. Like how are we going to get this game's layout into this space and then we have this same game on the other side like our prison break that's on uh, this side of the building is a little bit different not not way different but a little bit different right. uh, than the game that's on this side of the building so how do we how do we you know kind of put it in that way and then yeah as, to make it somewhat as close as possible yeah. mirror image of it yep and then and make it make it an upgrade so like that's a gen like uh, the the nut the nuts and bolts of it kind of a gen one but then as we moved into here we were able to aesthetically do a few things and, and add in some more tech and stuff like that, like we were talking about. Yeah. And, you know, just kind of upgrade a little bit, so. So Isaac, you've been with the Escape Game for so long, and I'm sure you've seen so many things on the cameras while mm -hmm. you were GMing or other people were. Uh, what is something that you've seen players do in the rooms that stood out that like was surprising? Like, oh my goodness, did they just do that? Like, give us one of them. Yeah, so we've seen a lot of different uh, teamwork that, that guests have used, whether it's, uh, and we, we want to be careful because of course we want, we want our guests to be safe. You know, safety is a big, big part of this. Uh, we want guests to enjoy their time. And then we'll make sure we, they're not doing something in the moment, in the heat of the moment that can <laughs> potentially be a, a bit more of a challenge. But we've seen them uh, like get on each other's shoulders to try to, to get to a certain clue, or right. we've seen them um, use all kind of different uh, techniques uh, that that again really you're like wow I, I would have not have thought to do that they so, just went for it yeah just... yeah we've had guests um, we've had guests uh, I'm trying to think of something that you know that would be you know just really really unique but there's a lot of there's a lot of creativity that you're like man uh, we you know when the games are designed there's because of the beta testing and kind of watching guests do certain things, yeah. you're, there's an expectation of this is how they'll get to this part of the game. Right, right. And then when a guest does something that you've never seen before, uh, you're like, oh wow, that's a really interesting way of thinking, re kind of reimagining how you can actually do this. So right. we've seen a lot of different different things like that as well. We're always um, wondering, like when you're seeing this stuff, like if you're note taking, like, oh, I've never thought it could be thought that way. Yeah. Maybe we can. Yeah. yeah. So so sometimes what what happens? Sometimes the the, the game guides, uh, the the team members here that uh, that that guide the games for our guests, they'll say. Um, the room has memories because it's funny <laughs> how one guest and one group you've never seen them do this or we've not seen a guest do this clue the certain way right and then the very next guest does it the same exact way so it's like lightning strikes twice in yeah the room, like two times in a row like we've never seen and then the next guest does the same thing and then it, it doesn't happen again for a long long time so wow. it's uh it's really interesting it's uh, crazy how the mind works mm -hmm. it's like hey let's make a human pyramid Get yeah myself, like, exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly um and i know i've asked you earlier uh you know which was your favorite escape game game but um now i want to ask you um because i'm pretty sure you played other escape rooms as well what was one that stood out for you uh a company in the game does not have to be your favorite just one you want to give a shout out to or yeah. if you have more than one that's fine 
Yeah, there, there are some really good games uh, here. I played with, uh, actually with uh, one of the founders uh, and my wife, a game out in, um, in Hammond, Louisiana, where, where I'm, I'm not from Hammond, but I'm from Louisiana. Okay. I went out and played this game, and I wish I knew the name of the company, but it was, an, it was a game where we got into an airplane. Oh, 13th, uh, 13th Gate. It wasn't 13th Gate. It wasn't, it wasn't in Baton Rouge. Okay. It was in Hammond. So it was down this country road, and this guy actually, he owned um, like a, a company that did uh, like, um, uh, like Halloween. Haunts? Kind of, yeah, Haunts. Was it like Rise? This. I don't think so. I'm going to have to find this one. Yeah. yeah. Escape my room. Escape. No, it was so, so we got I don't think we have it, an airplane one. And they had, he, the, the guy that was the owner, he actually, he said he manually, like, he had created this massive like base for the airplane. So when we were actually playing the game, he was pulling uh, on a lever that moved the whole entire airplane back and forth wow. uh, while we played. So it was really, really um, incredible. As far as a game that I've played um, here, Locally, it doesn't have to be local. Just yeah. anyone. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one that that really stands out because they've got we've got some really great uh, escape oh, yeah. rooms Florida? Uh, around here in Florida. One I'll tell you that my team uh, constantly raves about is Escape Goat, and they are in Winter Garden uh, on the west side of town, and it's uh, family owned. Okay. And the games there, uh, the hospitality that they give, and kind of the personal touch that they're able to give in those games is really really next level now they do their guiding in the game so they're a little bit more in character and in person okay so they're kind of part of the experience and i've heard nothing but amazing things about a scapegoat in winter garden i'm gonna have to put it up right here somewhere i'll find yeah. both of those games so yeah. we can uh highlight those yeah but thank you for sharing that really absolutely appreciate it. absolutely uh we have one more question for you because like i said we like to get to know uh you a little bit better yeah what is something that most people would not know about isaac out of the escape room life that you have yeah um so i am i'm, I'm a worship leader I, okay. I help serve at my church and so i serve there usually uh once or twice a month and i, I get to lead uh, and, and singing in, in front of uh, in front of the, the congregates and stuff like that. So wow. it's, a, it's a it's a privilege to get to do that as well. It's a okay. different type of leadership. Uh, so you have here. you have somewhat of a a, a, vo a vocal mm -hmm. voice. I, yeah, I sing a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. could we? Uh, if you, got, you got a nice acoustics in it, here. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, if, <laughs> the, the funny thing is, we were. I was talking to my team. Uh, actually, uh, we had uh, our senior director of operations uh, come in and visit, and they were saying uh, she asked because I have a couple of tells, you yeah. know, things that, that I do that I've done over the years, and she asked all the leaders. We had a meeting. She said, "Does Isaac still leave um, cups of?" coffee, half drink, half drunk cups of coffee around the building. And they're all like, mm, no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't do that. And she goes, does he still, is he still singing all the, and they're, oh, so it's funny because you don't realize or recognize what you're doing. And uh, so, right. yeah, a lot of singing and, and it's, huh? it's something I, I do enjoy and I get to, get to be a part of. I'm also a sneaker head, love the Yeezy 350 B2s. Big fan. We're gonna. This interview is gonna, about to end now. We're gonna go talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I like I like the hype beast, uh, the shoes and, and the streetwear and everything. So big awesome. fan of that as well. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we played Mission Mars, uh, probably one of the last few of the Escape Game games that we were able to uh, try. And uh, check out our website, escapetherumors.com. You'll get a review on what we thought of the game. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. We're giving you sneak peeks of what to expect when you get to the locations, the parking lot, the lobby area, a sneak peek inside of some of the rooms. Um, but more importantly, we're gonna give you a sneak peek trailer of Mission Mars right
Two hits left for me to use One hit left for me to move Time is running out, gotta figure something out